haven't made a gardening video in a while. We've had a lot going on and uh, I need, do need to get outside and make another one. But in the meantime, I thought I'd show you what I was doing for planning for the next spring. Um, I got a whole bunch of bulbs and the goal is this year to get them in the ground before they just rot because I've done that before. Uh, anyway, um, so this is the early spring section of the bulbs that I've gotten. Um, different kinds of snowdrops. These are snowflakes, that little tiny green dot. And I saw those at Bouchard Gardens. I fell in love with them. Um, these are the doubles, which I think look gorgeous. And then those are the traditional single drops. And then I got a couple of the snow crocuses in white and in cream. So I think those are really pretty. And then some winter aconite, which is really fun. And again, the nice thing about the really early blooming bulbs is that they give the pollinators um, something to eat early on in the spring because it's a it's a rough time for the the bees and the hummingbirds and stuff like that and then for color i've got uh, some squill that's blue and then two glory in the snow one purple and one pink so that's early spring mid spring is going to be more the daffodils um got some really pretty ones so that's the peach cobbler and then this mixture here, it's butterfly mixture, which again, it's going to be very open for the pollinators. Um, and then this, the gold and silver. So again, the double. So those are going to be a little bit more full, harder for the pollinators to reach, but still pretty good. Um, and then this trumpet, this one, oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous to me. I'm really looking forward to that. So that'll be there. And then the non-daffodil ones, we've got trout lilies, which again, I saw at Bouchard for the first time and fell in love with them. And I think they're just really cool looking. And in theory, they naturalize. So we'll see what happens there. And then some checkered lilies as well. And those are fun. So you have the different colors. And then some tulips that bloom a little bit earlier a lot of the tulips tend to be late spring this is a mid spring so we'll see how that goes but again there's a nice variety of that and there's a nice number of them because there's 15 of them and then for late spring we've got the star of Bethlehem which looks really cool and it's gonna be quite tall so this should be adding a lot of interest a lot of visual interest and a lot of height in the garden um, and then these really cool, really cool um, tulips there. They look almost like lilies, that whole um, double curve of their petals. Uh, some doubles here, the, what is that? The, the triple double light mix. Look at how full those are. Those are crazy. They look almost like peonies. And then these look really, really gorgeous too. Just noticed, I didn't really get too many traditional tulips. Eh, might be traditional, right? 